Welcome back everyone, it's the Bourbon Judge. Hey, we're ready to have a little bit of fun today. We're going to dive into Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof, the newest release, Koi Hill. First and foremost, just take a look at that bottle. That is a damn beautiful bottle, right? I mean, that's just sexy. <laughs> that is a sexy looking bottle. So, you know, before we get started, though, real quick, I want to give a huge shout out to my newest patron, uh, Robert. Thanks for the support, man. Really appreciate you becoming a patron. Thank you for supporting the Bourbon Judge and the channel and making, helping all of this to come to fruition. So I do appreciate you, my man. Thanks again. And thanks again, by the way, for all my patrons as well. Really do appreciate all the support, as well as everyone who watches the channel. Thank you, guys and gals, ladies as well. Tons of ladies out there supporting the Bourbon Judge also. So I appreciate each and every one of you. All right. Jack Daniels Koi Hill. So when you think about, let's just kind of go back real quick. If you recall, I think it was either earlier this year or last year, I reviewed the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof, which we all have seen out. We all know how lovely it is. A great, very bold Tennessee whiskey. Um, I won't go into it too much in depth. Obviously, I'll put the link up above so you guys can see um, the previous review, review. But of course, Tennessee whiskey, truly, honestly, right? Let's just call it what it is. It's bourbon. The key difference is it does go through that uh, Lincoln County uh, charcoal filtra filtration process. So that's what kind of gives it a lot of times like that smoky flavor, smoky notes. And that's truly the key difference of Tennessee whiskey versus bo bourbon, right? Okay. So this product here, $65.00. Readily available, you can find it all over. The proof point is always very high because it is a single barrel and barrel proof. Uh, the proof will range typically anywhere from like 125 up to like 132, 135. The one I have here is actually 130.7 proof. So this is, I mean, hell packs a hell of a punch. Has those traditional jack notes, right? Some banana, some dark chocolate, but overall very well rounded. And I mean, it's just solid as they come now on my left you're right <laughs> we got the newest the fourth annual release of the limited series for jack daniels is the koi hill what in the hell does that even mean bourbon judge just break it down all right a couple of things so when you think of koi hill the name itself is so the the barrels where the, um this bourbon or this whiskey was aged at was actually on Koi Hill, hence the name, <laughs> uh, Koi Hill, which is the hill actually on the Jack Daniels distillery where these barrels uh, of bourbon or whiskey was aging. And Koi Hill is actually the highest point um, across the entire distillery. Koi Hill is actually the highest point at the distillery, uh, as well as the whiskey was on the highest floor in the Rick House. So the highest Rick House, um, I'm sorry, the Rick House on the highest point in the distillery and at the highest floors. This is where that juice came from. So the story goes, I think it was kind of going back a couple of years ago. You had Chris Fletcher, the master distiller, him and the assistant distiller. They were they were obviously at Coy Hill at the uh, distillery uh, and they were at the high floors, just sampling just different whiskey, just kind of check out the proof, the quality as most distillers typically do. They came across some, um, some barrels that were ranging like in the 150 proof range they're like whoa that is high and that is completely different than what we normally bottle stuff at so they're like all right let's give it some more time to age and so forth and then uh we can maybe release it as a special release which they did this just came out uh in the last month here the koi hill just came out with a red label uh fantastic release at least from a marketing and branding standpoint we'll see just how good the juice is um the last thing i will say a couple other key facts when you think about price point, so Bourbon Judge, what's the price of this bad boy? Similar to this one, it's about a $70 MSRP. Um, and I actually was very fortunate, I will say, relationships matter. This is a very limited release, so if you can get it at $70, that's fantastic. I was fortunate enough, one of my hookups uh, was able to support me and gave me it for MSRP, so I was able to buy it at MSRP, and I'm very thankful for that. Again, relationships definitely do matter. However, I've seen this on secondary. For $550. Yes, folks, I did not say this is a Buffalo Trace antique collection. <laughs> did you ever imagine that we would have a day where a Jack Daniels product on secondary is going for almost $600? I never ever thought that would happen, but it is actually going for $600 on secondary, which is crazy. That is crazy by itself. 
Um, again, availability, it is very limited. So if you see it, you can find it at MSRP, definitely grab it. It's just worth trying regardless. Um, and then uh, from a proof standpoint, because this is a limited release, uh, again, you know, the certain barrel. So it does range anywhere from 137.4 proof to 148.3 proof. So that's, that's a range by itself. And that's up there, right? Going up to 148.3 proof. My bottle, so the bourbon judge's bottle, is 143.5. Say that again, 143.5. This is straight up fire. So I'm gonna do some cool things today. I'm going to obviously just uh, do a review of this one neat, just the way I always rock and roll. For the first time ever on my channel, I'm actually going to have another little pour with a drop or two of water. I've heard that opens it up a ton. We shall see. And then last but not least, I'll just even do a quick comparison of how it compares to the traditional lower proof single barrel, barrel proof Jack Daniels whiskey. Is that cool? All right. But the way we rock and roll here, we're going to start off uh, with just going with straight neat because that's the way I always roll. I can't believe I'm, I'm actually even using a, a bit of water this time. Last thing I will say real quick, um, you know, so Jack Daniels on their bottles, they do not give an exact age statement in terms of you know the exact age of the bottle or the whiskey itself i should say rather however even though it's not an age statement on the label they do on these limited releases they do actually call out the uh barrel entry date which for mine is august 17th 2012 and then it was bottled over here september 28th 2021 so that for the most part they're going they're about a nine year age uh whiskey if you will so that's my normal one. I'll put the one over here with the water, which I'll do in a little bit. So it's about a nine year age uh, whiskey as a whole, which, which is not bad, not bad at all. I'll take that any day. Wow, the bourbon judge, a drop of water or two. Oh my goodness, what is going on? One, let's do two for good luck. Oh, woo! <laughs> Can't believe it, folks. Hey, I say this each and every week. I appreciate everyone. Thank you guys and gals for always watching the bourbon judge, the channel. Thanks for all the love and support. Three quick, easy favors. You know the, what I always ask for. Hit the like button. Drop me a comment. You guys know I always do my best to try to reply to each and every person. And last but not least, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also the bell so you get the notification whenever I put out new content. Thank you very much. All right. Put the watered, watered down version or two drop version over there. It's not really watered down technically. Let's go ahead and get into this. You know, I'm going to pour this one too. Because I just want to see color wise the difference. Of the regular let's just see we shall see this is a whew, this is a lot of a lot of whiskey <laughs> a lot of high high proof whiskey too all right wow damn look how much darker koi hill is versus the traditional jack daniel single barrel barrel proof this is like dark brown i'm talking about like molasses on a i mean just look at that that is dark like deep brown this is more of a traditional, you know, uh, lighter, you know, almost like an oakier kind of a brown, traditional brown, like a golden, golden brown, if you will. Wow, big difference. All right, we're starting with the big dog, the original here. Or not the original, but the, the newest release, I should say. All right. Mmm. Wow. The crazy thing about this bottle, they actually recommend, if you find this, to keep the bottle upright at all times. Why would you say that, Bourbon Judge? The key difference is, is that if you tilt the bottle on the side and you store it on the side, apparently, because it's such high proof, all the vapors that are releasing actually will sometimes push the cork out of the bottle and you'll end up having a ton of, un or a ton of wasted whiskey <laughs> on your floor in your house. So keep the bottle up to up to, uh, or straight up came talk today straight up keep the bottle straight up <laughs> that is crazy all right so from a nose standpoint oh man whoo that is some damn deep oak brown sugar some cinnamon really no fruit no the traditional a little bit of like bananas that's in there in the jack none of that though almost maybe a little bit more like um like a burnt orange peel a little bit, but this is very deep, very bold in the nose. Oh my goodness. Damn. Tons of oak and tons of brown sugar. 
That's it, and a little bit of cinnamon and like that burnt orange peel. But not a ton of the orange peel, just a little smidge. Wow, hey, as we say each and every week, peace, cheers, salute. I appreciate each and every one of you out there. Here we go. Woo! God damn. Oh, man. Woo! <laughs> that is some heat. Oh man, yeah, I'm tearing up right now. Wow. And I'm a, uh, I drink my bourbon neat all the way, every single day. Wow. That is um, extremely bold. <laughs> if I was a little tired before, which I was, by the way, I was a little tired before, that surely gave me a nice swift kick in the butt. Oh my gosh. That is extremely bold, not only in the nose, but in the palate too. I've said before, there are some barrel-proof bourbons out there, like your Lies, your Craigs, your Stags, that'll put some hair on your chest. This is putting a whole bunch of wool <laughs> on your chest. I mean, you're going to have a, a chest full of hair. <laughs> this bad boy is extremely bold. So, number one, tons of like uh, chocolate actually in, in the palate. That came through. That was not in the nose, but that was definitely there in the palate. Some chocolate brown sugar that orange peel stayed um and then very oak forward as well right nine years in the barrel but tons of chocolate uh the orange peel and the uh the oak very nice very robust extremely robust and extremely bold across and the finish it's still going down i mean i feel right in my toes right now <laughs> that is a long ass finish wow all right I'm next going to take the version where I added two drops, just mix this around a little bit. I've heard if you add a couple drops, like with most bourbons, it opens it up a little bit. I've heard with this one, it brings back the traditional, like a little bit of notes, like some banana, maybe some other uh, fruits in there as well. Kind of like what we're used to with this version, which is bold by itself, but it also does uh, have like a ton more uh, fruit in it, uh, a little bit more fruit in it than this one does. This has zero fruit if you're drinking it straight neat. Wow, that was a lot. Goodness gracious. All right, let's see how it is in the news. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah. Just with two drops, the nose by itself, it does open it up. I'm getting more, a little bit more bananas, but more almost like even like blackberries and raspberries in the nose, where that does not happen with it neat at all. All right. Mmm. Wow. That's almost damn. Still very bold. But now with two drops of water, tons of like everything I just mentioned in the nose. The blackberries, some blueberries, very fruit forward, but still very bold at the same time. It's actually nice, honestly. It might almost be better with a drop or two than it is neat. Might be. I'm that's still the jury's still out on that one. But I love the fact that like the blackberries, the blueberries all kind of came together with the brown sugar, with the chocolate, and with the oak. That was actually quite damn delicious. Wow. Mmm. Whew. Damn, that's good. <laughs> all right. Last but not least, how different is it, Bourbon Judge, versus the standard traditional Jack Daniels single barrel? All right, let's, let's get into it. So this on the nose reminds me somewhat closer to this one, but even a bit more toned down even from there as well. Not as much fruit in the nose from this one here. A little bit more caramel, a little bit more brown sugar. Traditional, and this, we all know, this is a fantastic bottle, right? There's no, like, this is not bad. This is phenomenal by itself. It'd just be interesting to see how different is it versus these two. All right. Wow. Quite interesting to see the difference. It's, wow. All right. Couple key differences. The main difference with this one, this one, while it's definitely a very bold and robust uh, whiskey, it 
it holds nothing, and I mean nothing, to the Koi Hill. It's like, I'm gonna give you an analogy. If you're a little bit younger, this one you might miss out on. <laughs> if you see Mike Tyson in the street right now, you're like, you know what? I'm gonna walk right past him, maybe take a quick picture, but I'm not gonna get Mike Tyson upset because I don't wanna get knocked out. But I'll at least chance it, right? That's this one right here. This bad boy is Mike Tyson in his prime when he was in the ring with those, those little short black shorts on, walking around the ring looking a little crazy like he's gonna kill you. That's Coy Hill. <laughs> this is no joke. Still a very fantastic uh, bourbon or whiskey. Very well rounded, but much more just toned down, if you will. Not as upfront. This is straight out. I'm talking like you are about to go down like quickly and easily if you get hit with this bad boy. This you can enjoy over a period of time and still really love it. And it's not as bold as robust versus that bad boy. Woo! But again, if I saw both of these in the, in the sh on the shelf, would I buy them? Was it a buy or do not buy? For this one in particular, because it's for the review, hands down, Koi Hill is, it's legit all day long. And it, it lives up to, at least from my bottle, all of the 143.5 proof. So much that those glasses are empty. That one still has a little something in there and there's no way I'm gonna leave this in the glass. Hey, peace, cheers, salute. I appreciate each and every one of you out there. Thanks again for all the love. Later. Oh gosh, that was just a small drop. <laughs>